Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Discovery with me, Glory. Um, today I'm going to be talking about joy, how to create your own joy this year. I think um, a while ago I did a, a vlog on how to practice gratitude, but I think joy is even a bigger, I think gratitude is a subset of joy. So joy is an even bigger emotion that, that encompasses um, gratitude. So um, a lot of us, we think that you know, being happy, being joyous is based on circumstances. So when we get that big break, when we meet that man, when we have our kids, when our kids are doing well, those are all things that can contribute to us being joyous. Um, but really, joyous is being practicing a state of joy or being joyous is really, it's a decision. And here are some of the tips or things I've been doing to create my own kind of joy. I mean, the first one is obviously... Everybody tells you, do the things that you enjoy. Yeah. So if you enjoy swimming, if you enjoy writing, if you enjoy reading, create time to do the things you enjoy. Um, I think that's pretty, pretty much basic. Um, although a lot of people miss that, it's very important. But a second thing that I've found is learn to accept the balance of where you are now and where you want to be in life. A lot of people struggle with that. So they are very unhappy with where they are now because where they hope to be seems so far away or completely out of reach in some cases. But um, I've learned to just love where I am now, love, accept the fact that, hey, this is my life, you know, accept it and just learn to enjoy that balance and learn to enjoy each step I take towards becoming or going to the place um, that I want to be or achieving the things I want to achieve. That's the second thing. Um, the third thing I do is I, as much as is humanly possible, I try not to be jealous. And, I, and obviously I try not to compare myself with other people. I remove every thought that leads to jealousy and envy. Um, not every, every thought, I remove every avenue for the thoughts coming in. So there are certain people that I may follow on Instagram or Twitter and when I just notice that I'm having some angst every time I see their posts, uh, some little green minion rises up in my heart. Do you know, for a while, I just stopped following them because I realized that I need to set my own priorities. I need to get my own life straight. And really, you shouldn't do things that rob you of your joy. Uh, another thing that robs us of our joy is being around people that maybe they don't celebrate you or that they don't love you. Um, a friend of mine recently showed me um, this poster and it said, some people won't love you no matter what you do and some people will love you no matter what you do. Go where the love is. And that is such a true thing. I think so many times we are always trying to convince people to love us, always trying to prove to people that we are worthy of their love. Meanwhile, there are people who are loving you for free. <laughs> they, all, you know, they accept you what's and all. And I think we need to, I think joy is, is, is cultivated in, in an arena of love. And so we should always learn to, just learn to be around people that celebrate you and love you. Not people that just take you for who you are per se, people that will still correct you and want to see you grow. But ultimately people that love you enough to even correct you. I think that's so important. Another thing that I find robs people of their joy is the past. So maybe someone betrayed you, um, you feel bitter about an event, and you just keep rehearse, rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing that past. And it, you know, you, it makes you bitter. And bitterness is like a seed. You know, it just, it takes root in you and it grows and just, you know, just becomes really crazy. And it still, it's really, really a thief of joy. Um, so one thing I've learned is, you know, put a date to it and let it go. <laughs> really, honestly, like, just let go of your past. Admit the mistakes you've made. If you need to confront someone about it, confront the person. But ultimately, make a decision to let go of the past um, uh, if you want to practice joy. Another thing I've also learned is, and I, th I think I've said this before, is to practice gratitude, even for the little things. So um, just being thankful for the weather. I know that sounds really silly, but if you go out on a day and it's not so hot, it's just be like, oh, God, thank you for the weather. Thank you, it's not so hot today. Or, oh, God, thank you, there's no traffic. Or, you know, just little, little things that we, we take for granted, you know, um, just, just, being thankful for those little things. I think that so many times we think that we can only practice gratitude with the big things, but really we can be thankful for even the small things. Um, another way to 
practice joy, which I find that a lot of people don't realize, is being kind to others. I think that, you know, joy, joy is like, in a way, it's like a seed or an essence that you leave behind. So when you are kind to others, the way they respond to you most times, or even if they don't respond in a way that you like, it makes you feel happy within yourself that you could be, especially when you step out on a limb for someone or be nice to someone who isn't necessarily always nice to you. I think that that's another way you can practice joy. But ultimately, I think the biggest way we can practice joy is decide to act the way you want to feel. I think a lot of times that we, we wait to be joyous, to act joyous. But like I said at the beginning, being joyful is a decision. So if you want, if you want, to, feel, if you want to feel beautiful, if you want to feel happy, act happy. Don't, we, we, sometimes, I, I think even psychologists say this, that you can trick the mind into creating certain types of, types of emotions as opposed to waiting for your circumstances to convene and make you feel a certain way. So today, I hope that we all find ways to practice joy because you know, 2016, hopefully, is going to be a great year and we're going to have many reasons to celebrate. But I think it's very important that we all cultivate our own sense of personal joy, regardless of circumstances. Um, so how are you? Are you someone that's practicing joy today? Um, how are you practicing joy? And what are some, some of your tips for practicing joy? Um, please feel free to live in the comment section. Uh, rather, leave a comment in the comment section. And of course, you can always email me on glory at inspiredbyglory.com. And of course, of course, of course, if you want more sources and to learn how to um, act joyful and to cultivate joy in your life, you want to be subscribing to our YouTube channel, Inspired by Glory. Until next time, it's going to be me, Gloria Dozian, on Discovery. Bye.